Hello everyone. Welcome back to Dawn and Dreams. It is your lady Miss Z. Thank you so much for tuning into another video. If you would, please make sure that you like and subscribe if this video resonates with you. Also comment down below how it resonates with you. Also check out Paranormal Tuesday that just passed. Um, I'm going to be doing something extra special for the next Paranormal Tuesday and it's every other Tuesday. But um, for the next one, I'm going to be doing something to where it's like a drawing almost. But I'm going to allow the ancestors to pull initials and to pull numbers. So if you have, you know, an age that resonates with that number or if it's just your initial. So it's going to be kind of like a spiritual giveaway, so to speak. So make sure that you like and comment on the last video because that automatically enters it, you into that spiritual giveaway. All right. So go back and check that out. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the announcements. Make sure that if you... Uh, want to book a read, go to donandream.com. I'm going to have some um, products coming very, very soon for you guys to check out. Words from Maroon is on the way. And I think that's pretty much it. And also, you may hear the lawnmower going in the background. And I was going to wait until afterwards. But I'm like, you know what? It's just a sign of spring. It's just a sign of things growing. So if you hear the lawnmower, I'm sorry, but we're going to move on. <laughs> okay? Because I don't even have a lot of time to do readings on the channel. So because um, I'm always busy working. So this is going to be a collective reading for April. And um, I'm really excited about this reading because it, there has been so many signs that I've been getting for spring. And one of the major messages that I received was about love. <laughs> and I haven't talked about, you know, love in a while on this channel, but that was one of the major messages that were communicated to me through the birds, okay? Um, and their messages were very, very clear. There's going to be a lot of courting. So there's going to be a lot of, um, it, it's so weird because you think February is the month of love, but it's really between March and April, okay, that you're going to start finding someone. So if you are single, this is the time for you to find someone. And the birds were telling me that a lot of people will be finding love interests, okay? Because there was um, a blue jay that was, that was single as could be. And he doesn't come anymore. You know, he used to come to the feeder and everything, but he doesn't really come that much often anymore because I moved it. He doesn't like where I put it. But he came one day and when he came back, he came back with his new wife to show it off. He didn't even get nothing to eat. He just, he came to show off, you know, his mate and, you know, he moved on from there. So that was a sign of, you know, even people who think they're not going to meet nobody, you're going to meet someone. And then there's also another symbol that I received. Um, from my precious mockingbird that sings over our bedroom, you know, night and day. Um, some people are going to find that, you know, you may have an interest in someone. You may have an interest in someone that you are trying to get with and it may not work out, but that doesn't mean you should give up. Okay, because the mockingbird is going to keep singing and it's just going to enjoy the moment. All right. Enjoy the moment of trying to find somebody and get to know somebody that's for you. If they ain't for you, just move on like that other bird that he was trying to get with. She wasn't feeling it. So she just moved on. So I don't want you to feel like you're not going to find somebody just because the person that you were trying to get at wasn't feeling it or you weren't feeling it or the date didn't work out or it was just a hit and a miss don't give up you know especially during this time it's really a time of finding love connections and union and this is not just relationships this is also going to be in friendships and tribes you're going to find a lot of connections this spring uh, people that you're going to be working with spiritually you're going to be collaborating this is the perfect month for that it's the perfect month for collaboration Another message um, that the Robin wanted me to give was dedication. Make sure that you stay dedicated to the things that you say that you're going to do, okay? Um, let me make sure he can, okay. All right, make sure that you stay dedicated to the things that you say that you're going to do. If you start a project, stick to it because this is the time, you know, uh, for abundance. You know, it's really coming in. Everything is growing right now. So it's the perfect time really to start things and also to see the benefits. You're going to see the benefits very, very quick, just like grass growing in very quick. Very quick, you're going to see the effort that you put into something, you're going to get back. So it's a lot of it's a lot of opportunities for money too. You want to follow the seasons, people. You want to follow the seasons because the seasons will tell you 
when is the appropriate time for you to make major moves and when it's like, okay, you know, you probably need to save your money. Winter time is normally the time you want to save your money um, because everything is kind of dying out with the leaves and things. But spring is a time that everything's just shooting up. You could plant a seed and it's going to grow, you know, give it a couple of weeks of rain and it's going to grow. So any idea that you have right now and you plant that seed, it's not going to take a lot for it to get up off the ground. So don't be discouraged if you feel like um, you put some effort into something and you don't get it immediately. Actually, it's going to come pretty quick. All right. You just have to be consistent and stick with it. Okay. So we're going to see what the bones are saying. And honestly, my bones are actually charging. That's why I'm doing it from my um, Spirits of the North uh, bag. My bones are charging, they're transitioning. I have a lot more work to do with them. Um, but this isn't gonna stop me from doing bone readings. I'm still gonna be doing those, but I have a lot of things going on in my bones right now, so. But they wanted to come out for this reading, so I'm gonna allow them to do that, and then I'm gonna be putting them up. It was a message for spring and for April, for the month of April. So. you guys too long but we're gonna um look over this as well and i'm also gonna add in some card messages too mm. so a lot of you feel like you have a lot of responsibility okay um and i see being very very protective very protective over your assets, over yourself, over the things that you have going, almost like you don't want to lose anything that you have for yourself. Um, like if you just got a car and you're making payments, uh, you're like, I don't want to lose that car. I want to continue to, you know, keep up with things, keep up with things to where that I can manage them. But at the same time, you're still carrying a lot of weight. So it feels like a lot of weight being on you. And I also see, what's weird is this is not a time for lack of abundance, but for some of you, you don't feel as abundant as you could be, okay? So they're talking about using your wits about you. And also a lot of you need to um, remove, um, yeah, that's so weird. Like you need to uh, use that sun energy, that sun energy that's coming, you know, for the spring and summer, that sun energy helps things to grow and be very abundant. But there is um, some snake energy, okay? So this represents negative energy being thrown at you or something trying to block you, all right, from you using your wisdom. So this can come in the form of maybe you're not as, you know, maybe you're not doing the things that you used to do. Like if you used to do manifestation work and all of a sudden you just stop doing it and you're like, why am I not, you know, getting as much money as I would like to? It's almost like, you know, the the person that's sending negative energy is not wanting you to use your wisdom. They're not wanting you to use your ancestral gifts. They're not wanting you to contact the ancestors and ask them for help. They want you in a state of you don't understand why things are happening to you and you also don't do anything to change it. So this is a time to keep up with consistent rituals, okay? And start back your rituals that were actually helping you to manifest and to protect you, okay? Because it's showing that... Um, you using your wisdom is actually going to help you ward off any negative energies mm, because this negative energy is really trying to hide. It's trying to hide itself. Mm. And it's like, you can't figure out why, why you're not abundant. And for some of you, this is even in love. Why you may be having trouble in love. There's some negative energy being sent. Like people aren't wishing you well. So you want to make sure that you are cleansing. If anything, you know, you don't have to be a magician or a witch or any of those other things that you, you, you don't even have to be a label to know how to cleanse yourself. Okay. 
Um, so you want to make sure that you're doing that so that way spring can come in. You know, if there's blockages, then you're going to be, you know, the yard with the, with the brown in it where there's like little brown spots where stuff won't grow. You're going to be that person. So you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that you are um, doing what you need to do to clear out the way for growth. So this is a time of cleansing, especially from negative energy. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of people, you know. A lot of people don't want you to go further when it comes to your spirituality, when it comes to your development. If you have some type of training that you're going under, maybe you're trying to go back to school and do something for yourself. There's a lot of people that just really don't, like they kind of despise it in, in the shadows um, and may even cover it up, but you can't necessarily see it because they see you as being very, very wise, someone who um, has a good understanding of life. Mm. And this is a spiritual person, really. You know, it's a it's a wise person, so I don't try to say it's not like it's not all spiritual, it's also logical, but the elephant is a representation of both. Hmm. Okay. So I'm saying a couple of things here. There's somebody that may have put an insecurity into you. I don't know if this was in the past or if it's present. But for some of you, it could be both. You know, it could be somebody in the past that planted insecurities in you and doubts and fears in you. You are supposed to overcome that. You are supposed to free yourself from that. Because it's like every time you want to do something for yourself, you want to go the distance. There's like this, this whisper in your ear that holds you back. They're talking about you need to let go of your past doubts and insecurities. Mm. You also need to release people who are not supportive of your journey right now. Spirit is speaking on having strength for a lot of you, having strength to go forward. There's a you're, There has been a lot of things that some of you have went through and you've survived it all. So you should be very proud of yourself. Keep on moving and don't stop. Don't let things get you down and your, don't let your experience be something that drags you down. And it's so interesting because this is really, really good. I see a lot of you being more invested in yourself, more invested in your looks. You you guys are going to be starting to get into that. Um, looks, the way that you come across to people. Um, I see a lot of self-expression, okay? Mm, so there's a sacrifice going on here. Some of you are going to sacrifice some time and energy, meaning you may take some days off of work. You may be spending a little bit of money, but you're really going to be in, investing and empowering yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because now it's time to focus on you and regain confidence in yourself. So there is, there is a, um, this is a younger ancestor. Both of them are, they either recently passed on and, or they were, um, they were just, they, they didn't, uh, pass on at an older age. Not, they weren't that old when they passed on. Let's put it that way. Um, but there's a male spirit. There's a female spirit. There's also a grandfather spirit here. Hmm. The, um, the, the father figure, or should I say the male ancestor is pointing towards, um, new beginnings, new beginnings that are coming in. Like some of you may have moved to a different area. 
Um, you may be getting a, a new place, a new house. Like you have moved into a different direction in your life. You're starting anew. There's a lot of fresh things going on there, but they're saying this is a good thing. Some of you are unsure about the transitions that you've made, but they are good. They don't want you to feel restriction anymore in your life. Don't feel restricted. Don't have regrets. Adapt to where you are right now. And this includes spiritually as well. For those of you who are hesitating in your new and your new traditions and, and, and what you're trying to do right now, don't have any hesitation on what you're doing now. Everything is good. You're moving in a good direction. Mm. I'm also saying some travel. So this is good too. I'm also saying some travel. You may feel like you're traveling alone in certain things that you're doing, but that is okay. You know, the direction bone is pointing towards that. It's pointing towards travel. It's pointing towards new connections. It's pointing towards a lot of new things right now. Hmm. Wow. So this female ancestor is the protection. Hmm. But it's also development spiritually. They want you to, the, the female ancestor says that you should basically focus on your goals focus on your goals really spiritually too mm. set aside some time for those of you who feel like you don't have time for your spirituality it's time to make time okay um like no more excuses all right if you want to develop spiritually because there she's trying to connect for some of you and like i said it it's general but it's also for everybody Okay, because it may not be a female ancestor for you particularly, but in this reading, it's saying it's a female ancestor that is, so you have to take what resonates for your, for your situation, but it's a female ancestor that is like, she has to introduce you to more indigenous practices, um, more magic, more things that you're supposed to be doing in your life, but you have to retain focus. There's not a lot of focus on what you're supposed to be doing. So this could be distractions in social media. This could be, you know, you said you wasn't going to um, pick up a cigarette again, but you did. You know, respect your taboos, the things that you said that um, you're not going to do because you're in a better place at this point in your life. If you have health issues, it's like just be mindful of those things that you said you weren't going to do to get in spiritual alignment with yourself because this ancestor is working with you in order to push you further spiritually. Hmm. And that's another thing. We do need to still be mindful of health, okay? Um, and they're also speaking on some of you having patience with that. Have patience with your health. Mm. Get connected to nature. Get more grounded. The grandfather spirit is speaking on um, external energies, keeping that away from your prosperity, okay? Okay. Um, it basically means that you may have people outside of you, either they're asking you for money or they're constantly asking you for your energy. And this takes away from the projects that you have for yourself. Like you don't have time to focus on your soul mission because this person or these people keep asking you for your energy. He is really projecting that you should focus on you. You should focus on what you got going on and don't feel guilty to do that, okay? It, it's, a, it's somebody that's either spiritually draining you, um, a spiritual vampire, somebody that's trying to drain your energy, rather knowingly or unknowingly. This could even be family. Take time out for yourself because if you don't, you could have issues with, you know, getting as much money as you could get. This is even for people who have their own business, you know? Uh, having your own business and family, sometimes it's like they understand that, you, you're, that you're running a business and sometimes they don't. They're like, hey, why didn't you do this? And why can't you do that? So try to um, have time for them. That's fine too. But also have time for the things that you want to focus on and let them know what's important to you and what you want to do. You know, see the value in putting your foot down sometimes about the stuff that you like and what you want to be invested in. Okay. They're talking about a lot of you getting healing as well from toxic relationships because that's what they want you to break away from. And the toxic relationships is also impending your health. 
because you can't focus on your soul mission, it can make you sick. It's almost like working a job. And I remember sitting in an office one time like, oh my God, I could be doing so much for God and dreams. I could be doing so much for my business. This is a waste of my time. Like that's how I was. And it was really literally making me sick, especially mentally. And then it was going down physically because you have these anxiety attacks because you know that that's not what you're supposed to be doing. So it doesn't mean that you should just quit off a wham, but it does mean that you should have balance in your life and don't be afraid to get that balance that you need for your goals. All right, so from words from Maroon, we're going to get a couple messages from here for this April and just going into spring. Let's see what the me messages are. Okay, and I think that something flipped over, but I don't know what did. And guys, I am going to have a few more of these left. Like I said, um, thanks to the people who did invest in work from Oron, I was able to and, um, fund a few more. So I will have a few more left if you're interested in getting this deck. Um, and Spirits of the North too. But it probably won't be until um, next Monday. All right, let's see. Yeah. Obviously. All right. We're going to start. I need some music again to play, but I really listen to outside more now that I, my my room is by you know it's right outside almost pretty much so i like to listen outside i like to look outside mm. and i can't wait the grass is cut so i can do some readings back out there again because it's beautiful all right let's see what the ancestors say all right hmm yeah it's a time of celebration you know um it's interesting all right it's a time for celebration. I can't speak on that enough because it's not just a birthday. Some of you may have birthdays coming up and that could be what they're speaking of for you. But this is not just that. It's like almost every day is almost a birthday. If you if you really look at it, a day to be alive, a time to be alive, like really living your life, you know, doing things that make you happy because you have these two cards coming together in the higher self. It says, um, ah, yeah, wear protective amulets. I didn't even see that. You gotta look at that too. But it says relax and it says abundance is coming. Relax, abundance is coming. Good luck is coming. And we got the bluebird here to confirm that. Um, good luck is coming. Prosperity is coming. And the wear protective amulets for me, that also is a sign that you should protect your freedom. You should protect feeling good about yourself and doing things that you want to do. But I think that will help also to ward off anything that tries to take away from you wanting to do for yourself. Mm. Yeah, I'm saying some, some money spending, but you should also be saving as well. Don't go crazy, but I think that it's healthy for you to, to do things for yourself. Hmm. A lot of you haven't had time for yourself. A lot of you have been taking care of other people and it's been wearing you out. Mm. If you are gifted, you should be very careful with your gifts and how people drain you of your energy. Like you might have a lot of love to give and a lot of wisdom to give, but you want to be mindful of that. Hmm. And you do got that jealous card here. Somebody's really jealous because it fell over. You know, you you do what you want to do, traveling, taking vacations and things like that. Like somebody's jealous of you planning for yourself. So you want to try to keep these people out of your circle. They say divine timing 
and cleanse your home. So this is the time, you know, the spring cleanse. This is the time for us to cleanse out all old energy. Because again, if you have clogged energy, nothing is going to grow there. So you want to make sure that you are um, cleaning. One, you clean out your house too. Clean out any closets. I know that it can be time consuming to clean out a whole bunch of boxes and things like that. But going through that stuff takes away old energy. And if you have something from somebody that you are no longer associated with, I would recommend that you um, either get rid of it, especially if the person is toxic and you want to remove yourself from them like you have to get those things out of your house because they kind of can hold resonance in a space with you does that make sense so it's not like and i'm not saying get rid of everything you know don't do that but um especially if the situation is not as bad but if you do have toxic people that you dealt with and you have some of those things in your house you might want to get a get it out of your space pretty much like put it in the basement or something like that if you have to keep it Try to get some new energy going so that way, again, it's not harping old energy. They're talking about focusing on wealth, abundance, growth, legacy, all of these things. And the things that weren't moving for you, a tree grows very slowly. But I feel like in that spring energy, you're going to see some growth. Even if you've been doing it for years. Like let's say, for instance, you've had a business and it's kind of been stagnant. Springtime is the time you're going to see the most growth out of that. So don't be afraid to do new things and bring new elements into how you make money or passive income or doing something differently. Don't be in denial. Cleanse and protect your family. So they say some of you are like, uh-uh, who, who's sending me negative energy? I don't believe nobody's sending me that. They're like, don't be in denial. Cleanse and protect your family. Just do what they tell you to do. <laughs> That's what I have to, have to get. You have a protective spirit here as well. Yeah, they're talking about focusing on your foundation, the things that you're building. Mm. seeing a lot of work taking place a lot of hard work taking place look everything you do is for a reason your hard work will pay off cheer up and keep pushing forward hire a guardian so you're receiving outside assistance as well it says my energy is assisting you during this time you are going through major transitions so we're going through a transitional period get all the abundance that you can from spring to summer okay and then you can just rest and relax in, in the winter time you may be doing a little bit more work but I also feel like, you know, again, if you're trying to take advantage of financial, uh, financial gain and even in relationships, if you're trying to find somebody, this is the best time to do that. All right, everybody. So that is the reading. Um, comment down below how I resonate with you and peace out.